Hey YouTube land, I want to do an update video on one of my early videos that I did. Not that I've done that many, but this was one of the first ones called What's in my Camelback? Or what, what do I carry in my mountain bike bag? And it was a little surprising to me because it got a bunch of views. Um, certainly not millions and millions, but um, a lot for, for what, I, not that I expected anything. Um, I don't expect, I don't expect much, but uh, it got like over 20,000 views, and I thought well, that was kind of interesting, and you know, some handful of comments and, and whatnot, just kind of interesting how this whole thing works. But anyway, um, that was a couple of years ago, I think, um, and you know, so this has been uh, a system that's been evolving for me, you know, constantly learning, constantly changing, uh, seeing what works. Um, I fall into the camp, like many people do, of carrying too much stuff. Um, I do like to be prepared, uh, and I've got some stories to go along with some of the stuff that I'll show you that was in that I, that I carry with me in my bag. Stuff stuff that I've used in terms of first aid or repair kit stuff. But this was uh, this was the old Camelback. This was uh, I've used it for many many years. Um, you know, I'm in my mid 40s now. Probably been using it mountain biking for 20. 20 plus years, so you know this is an old, old Camelback, probably one of the first generations. Um, you know, bladder basically is, is what it what it, it mainly carries is used for, and then this the small little pouch for you know other stuff and you know little pockets for wallet and keys and, and stuff like that. So this is what I used for the longest time, and um, I decided to upgrade, and it was time to go ahead and evolve. So my, my new my new kit is this is a Camelback Mule. Um, I did look at different different options and different uh, different brands. Looked at Osprey really really close. Um, I nearly got an Osprey that was a little bit bigger than this one. I don't I don't remember exactly how how big this is. I'm gonna take a stab and say it's 1,800 cubic inches. I could be wrong, but. Um, you know, for for commuting, bike commuting, uh, it this is a little small. I would say, uh, you know, fit fit your work clothes and you know shoes and stuff like that. You gotta gotta kind of think ahead and leave stuff at the office beforehand. But um, but for for mountain biking and you know getting up in the hills, um, but I'm I'm really really happy with this. I must I must say, um, again like like the the first video that this is a response to. Uh, I'm going to show you this. This has lots of stuff in it. Um, I wouldn't necessarily take this to the bike park or for you know a local short um, short trail. You know, other than other than just for the fact of having water. But I wouldn't take all the stuff that's in it. Um, some rides that I have done um, here in Colorado, Monarch Crest. I was really happy to to be able to do that. Uh, 401 in uh, up in up in Crested Butte, and those are both Alpine. Um, Alpine rides. I mean, they're above tree line, and uh, if you, they're they're far away, if you break down, you got to be able to uh, you know take care of your take care of your your bike, take care of yourself if you break down. So you know, there's that's the need or that's the necessity for uh, for carrying stuff. You know, so again, you may accuse me of carrying too much stuff, but um, I don't mind the weight, um, and that's and that's what I do. You know, and go back to the you know the weight. Uh, one of my one of my old friends that I used to ride with, he you know he raced and he had a lot of experience, and you know his big piece of advice was you know carry the weight on yourself, not on your bike. Keep your bike as light as possible. Um, carry the weight on yourself, and you know that's that's something that that made sense to me and it still does make sense to me today. You know keep keep the bike as light as possible and. Um, carry what you need in a bag on yourself. So um, I'll just go dive into the features on this. Um, it's got this new, not new, I guess these have been out for many years, but you know, helmet clips. I think that works and helps really, really well. It's got a place to put your lid. Got an outside pocket, which um, you know, just right now I've got my, got my, my gloves, got my glasses. And it's a decent sized pocket. It's expandable, um, so you can certainly shove uh, layers, rain gear, um, 
sandwiches, other stuff in there if you like and if you need to. Go into the main compartment, main pocket, um, which, you know, again, this is it's some good good size here. Uh, what I've got in here right now is um, is a rain layer, uh, hooded, hooded, hooded shell, uh, long sleeve uh, base layer for for warmth. If it gets cold, if it's raining, I've got a, a cap, uh, you know, a little synthetic beanie just to keep my head cold, <laughs> keep my head warm if it gets cold. And that's you know that's you know, one of the one of the ten essentials is uh, extra extra layers. If you get stuck out above tim timberline and it's raining, it's snowing, and there's hail coming down, um, you want to be able to layer up. You want to be able to stay as warm as you possibly can until you can get out of there. And uh, what do I what do I have in here? I think I, in this one, this little pocket up here. I think this is for meant for glasses and electronics and such. But you know I just carry some. Some, this is where I carry snacks and you know, extra, extra food. Um, I will show you one thing up front. You know, I like to, and I, again, I learned this from another friend of mine, but I like to carry a whistle. Um, that's just close. I can get to it if, if 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 I need it. You know, I endo with the handlebars, and you know, I'm stuck. I'm trapped. I can't, I'm broken my shoulder or whatever. Um, you can, if you can't move, you can at least call. Call and whistle for some help. Um, again, I got a little light just to, if I'm out after dark and want to be seen, I can turn that on. That can, if someone's looking for me, knows where to look for me, they can look for the light. It'll, any little bit will help. Um, pump, real small, standard pump, uh, extra tube, park tool set. Um, standard standard tools in here. Uh, one thing I do I do have a box wrench. My daughter's bike still has bolt-on wheels. Probably be the last year for that. I might maybe ditch that tool, but just standard you know stuff in here. Um, chain breaker, uh, tube seals, tire levers. Uh, my son has a uh, pneumatic pump. What I call it, pneumatic um, compressed air pump, so I carry an extra, extra canister there. Uh, first aid kit. I'll get to that in a minute. Sunscreen. Uh, more sunscreen. Blistex for chapped lips. Uh, a little bit of uh, a bug bug wipe. Comes in handy sometimes. I got a glow stick. Again, if I'm out at night. Uh, want to be want to use that for a signal or want to be seen can, uh, can use that and uh, this is my little repair kit I won't go too super in detail about this I got some zip ties got a little bit of a split or cut inner tube uh, gorilla tape uh, multi-tool hex wrench multi-tool with a knife and pliers uh, I've got a flashlight I've got some a wrap wire to be able to attach that anywhere or somewhere. Um, a little bit of bailing wire for repairs. Duct tape, did I say that? Flashlight and uh, battery. All in there. That's nice and compact. And I do want to talk about my first aid kit a little bit because uh, this is something I've actually used. Um, you know, a lot of times you'll you know you'll fall, you scrape your shin, you'll you'll do whatever. Um, you know, band-aids and stuff like that is is necessary and comes in handy. But I, I, there's been a couple times when I've come across people. Uh, it's on the trail that you know have fallen or, or something has happened, and I've had to actually use my first aid kit. So um, have a decent stocked first aid kit. Oh, one part of that that, that goes along with this. So one of the, sto the story I was going to tell you was. Um, I came across this family, this is a space blanket, an emergency blanket. Um, I came across this family going down this trail and they were, they were all stopped and the girl, um, young girl of the, of the group, maybe she was 10 or four, 12, I'm not sure, um, she had fallen and she had hit her face pretty badly. Um, looked like she had broken a tooth, certainly, you know, cut and bitten, bitten into her lip. Her face was pretty bloody and the parents were... This had just happened. 
Um, the parents were pretty ineffective. They didn't know what was going on. They didn't know what to do. They uh, they weren't they weren't really prepared to be where they were. Um, you know, so I had a not not exactly this first aid kit. I, I've built it up a little bit since then, but um, I had I had first aid supplies with me. And and what I ended up doing was, you know, I was talking to this girl and you know giving her a, a once over and assessment. And I thought that she was kind of going into shock. You know, her, she she started to seem confused. You know, her, her pulse was racing. Um, her breath was was really really kind of fast and shallow and, and I, I was really kind of concerned for her so pulled out the uh, space blanket wrapped her up um, calmed her down I guess maybe that may be the biggest thing that I did for her but um, calmed her down looked at her it was you know reassuring with her you know got some gauze pads kind of helped her out and you know patched her up until you know until the I guess it was the mountain rescue that, that came and ended up taking care of her. But, you know, this is my new, this is my new Camelback. So, here it is. I am very happy with it. It's, it's got, it's got fine amount of space for me. Like I say, maybe not for commuting, but something bigger would be better for commuting. This is, this is really good for, for what it is. Thank you all. Take care.